What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another episode of Keep It or Delete It, a show in which I download a mobile game and see if I should keep it on my phone or delete it ASAP. Today's game is gonna be Player Unknowns Battlegrounds Mobile or PUBG Mobile as some people like to call it. Now, PUBG Mobile is a mobile port of the PUBG game that is on PC and Xbox One, which is a third person slash first person shooter at times that throws 100 players in a open world style map and then have them battle it out with minimal items and guns and health items until one person or one team is left standing and oh my god it's really done so well and i have to start off the video by letting you guys know and just telling you guys that right off the back that i'm gonna 100 percent keep this game on my phone because one i'm addicted and two it's just done so well if you like the premise of PUBG, you like the premise of a battle royale game and you don't mind the limitations of playing it while you're on your smartphone device then again this game is for you now i played PUBG a couple of times on a very good pc at my cousin's place so when i heard that it was coming to mobile i was like there is no way that my mobile phone will be able to run a game as demanding as PUBG so smoothly. You got 100 players, you got dope graphics, you got vehicles, you got guns, you got first person. There's so much stuff in PUBG to, to even imagine it on a mobile is just a brain buster. But to my surprise, besides the graphics taking a visual PS2 style downgrade, this is truly a clone version of the PC version of the game. Minus that new desert map that only the PC version recently just had got. Everything else is here. You got singles, duos, squads, voice chat, aiming down the site in first person, bag inventory management, jumping, vaulting, anything that you can do on the PC build of the game, you can also do it here on mobile. So shout outs to Tencent, the company that brought it over for doing an incredible job on bringing this to a mobile platform. Right now, it's currently available on iOS and Android for free. Yes, you heard me, for free. This is probably the only way that you can play PUBG for free because right now you will do have to pay for it on the Xbox One and on PC. And I'm going to have both links in the description if you're looking to try it out for yourself, which again, I recommend. I've been playing on my Android Galaxy S7 and again, to my surprise, the game runs butter smooth. No glitches, no game crashes, no stutterings, no pop-ins. And again, it's just truly amazing that a game like PUBG, which is flawed to say the least, on the Xbox One version runs so well on my mobile device. Now, if you are a PUBG player, you would know that there is a lot of customization when it comes to controls for PUBG on the PC. There's so much micromanagement within the game with your bag, with your gun, which guns you have equipped, using health items, moving the character. And again, before I play PUBG Mobile, I thought to myself, there was no way they were gonna be able to squeeze all the buttons that you would need on one screen, on a touchscreen display. And, and if they did, there was no way you're gonna actually see your character or anything on screen. And there was no way that it's gonna actually work comfortably. And to my surprise, it sort of does. They do manage to squeeze all the buttons that you would need initially on your touchscreen device, but it comes with a few limitations. One of those being obviously your fingers is going to cover up your vision. And again, depending on your device and how big your fingers are, I'm playing on the Samsung Galaxy S7, not a huge phone. So my fat thumbs do get in the way sometimes of my viewing angles of what I'm seeing on screen, but that's neither here or there. And another issue I do come across is that I'm accidentally shooting at times I don't want to shoot. There are two shoot button icons that are on the screen all the time and currently there are no way to customize the button layout where you can remove them. 
Now you can customize the button layout, but that is very slim way to do it. And they only have three options available and, and none seem perfect to fix this issue. Now what I would prefer is a customization button layout where you can remove them or change the size at least, you know, make them smaller, make them bigger and just put them in places that you think will be more convenient. There be times where I'm hiding in a house, looking out the window for enemies, and then I just randomly shoot. And then obviously giving away my position when I was just trying to aim down my sight and sometimes aim down my sight to shoot somebody, I give away my position and they immediately see where I'm at and have an opportunity to take me down. Again, beside these two little gripes, the game controls like a charm. Yeah, I'm 100% would prefer a keyboard and mouse or even a controller support for this mobile version, which at the currently, at the time of recording, they do not have that, but I, I, don't, I don't see why wouldn't they add controller support in the future, especially with all this 8-bit dough controllers that they have that are available to work on mobile devices. I believe currently they have that, so everyone can be playing on an equal playing field. I could be wrong on that. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Again, I think I will be popping out chicken dinners left and right every match if I did have controller support in hand for this mobile version but again that's just me bragging again with these controls I'm still able to pop out a few chicken dinners just using touchscreen controls which again to my surprise blew me away so what do you have here is basically PUBG on your mobile phone available anywhere you are with your mobile phone and that alone is amazing and the fact that they're giving users a chance to play this wonderful game that's usually tied to a PC or Xbox for free is again amazing again i'm going to keep this on my phone let me know in the comment section below are you going to download pubg mobile on your phone and give it a try i don't see why not one it's free and two if you have a android device currently you cannot play fortnite and i know a lot of you guys are going to compare pubg to fortnite or you know but do know pubg kind of did it first even though h1z1 did it first pubg kind of perfected the battle royale gameplay on the pc and fortnite kind of copied it they even said that in a trailer that when they announced that they were doing a battle royale mode that yeah they love what pubg was doing they're gonna have their quote unquote battle royale pubg style mode inside of the game as well that took off for them and now they have a mobile version currently fortnite mobile is only on ios and currently invite only so pubg is again out on both platforms and free and you don't need an invite you can jump in and download and play it right now so what do you have to lose? So I'm gonna be playing PUBG for a while now until probably something better comes along. I will be doing my comparison video when Fortnite does drop on iOS and I do get my hands on it. I am gonna do a keep it or delete it on Fortnite. Let's see if Fortnite can dethrone my PUBG itch and make me wanna delete it. But until then, right now on my phone, for battle royale experience it's PUBG. let me know again how you feel about that i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter like always guys you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of these keep it or delete it style videos now please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy them or not i'm daddy gamer fred peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next keep it or delete it